As we told you earlier, an Alberta judge is telling a tenant to, to get out. Despite some strange claims, the homes he's renting is actually an embassy. And a, a retiree, or Rebecca Caverhill, is uh, fighting to take back her home after renting it to a man she says gutted the place, changed the locks, and refused to go. Brian Lilly has more on this bizarre story. He, uh, you he's know, the host of Byline. Pat, yeah. you were just talking business and... Uh, money and yeah. markets and everything and people have been telling me for years brian get in on real estate become a landlord this is one of the reasons i keep saying no you know i don't want to be renting out to some guy who decides it's an embassy and he doesn't have to pay me rent anymore and then you've got to go through a very long process to evict the person okay we often so hear go, stories go of, of mean landlords but this is a mean tenant leaving a, a retiree out of pocket yeah because he says he's what is called a free man w what is that Okay, so there is a, a movement that's been going on since the 70s, and it's uh, generated some media attention lately, and there are claims that it's growing, where people declare themselves free men on the land. And they say uh, it is, um, you might say, an extreme form of libertarianism, where they say, look, the only law that exists is contractual. So if I contract with you, then uh, we can establish law, but these general laws don't really apply. And... Uh, uh, yeah, I have to give free consent to be governed, and if I don't give consent to the Canadian government, or the Alberta government in this case, then it doesn't apply. You know what? No, that's not how the world works. It's simply not the case. As I said, an extreme form of libertarianism. Uh, this guy, this Andreas Pirelli, who has threatened to sue people for printing just his name, uh, saying it's an infringement of his copyright, takes a selective view of the law because he's used the law to keep himself in this home. He's used the law that he says does not apply to him to keep himself in his home, tie up the landlord in red tape, to threaten people with lawsuits, but he says the law that says you've got to pay rent or you'll be evicted, that doesn't apply to him. I think that people in the free men on the land movement uh, are probably distancing themselves from him uh, for the most part. Uh, it's not a well-organized movement. These are, are rugged individualists. I'm pretty sure that they're saying, no, no, he's not really one of us. He's just a little crazy. And I think anyone that's uh, on the libertarian side is going, okay, this guy is, is, is nuts as well. The, this is not how society works. But he is, his landlord has said, he's a, um, uh, a paperwork terrorist because he's tied her up in red tape uh, in terms of all these filings that I mentioned uh, with courts, with legal bodies, and so on. Okay. Why can't the courts do something with a nut bar like this more efficiently? Well, because uh, according to police, and this is uh, speaking with Michael Platt from the Calgary Sun, who's been following this, uh, they said, well, it's a civil proceeding. So it has to uh, proceed to a certain point until they can act. So the judge again yesterday saying, no, you've got to get out. He's going to resist. Uh, hopefully within the next week or so, police will be able to go in and evict. Uh, it takes a while. Um, and this goes to the idea that uh, landlord tenant acts in Canada, which are provincial, uh, the idea that uh, everything's in the landlord's favor. It's not. Having uh, you know, dealt with landlords when I was a renter and having had friends who are landlords, uh, the law is very much in favor of the tenant and it takes a long time. But eventually it does get to a point where a sheriff will go in and actually remove someone. And I think we're getting close to that point with, uh, with Mr. Pirelli. You, you know, um, you can't have it both ways, Brian, as far as I'm concerned. You can't use the law and then ignore the law at the same time. I mean, why don't we give him free accommodation behind bars? <laughs> Well, he, um, he could also be evicted from Canada if we take him at his word, right? Yeah, he sure. claims he's Why, from the I'm sovereign, check that one off too, sovereign embassy of Earth or something. Uh, and, oh, okay, so you're, you're an embassy, uh, we're shutting down diplomatic ties and we're kicking you out of the country. We could go that route. Either way, I, I think this is a man that needs some help. And I think Ms. Uh, Caverhill is someone that uh, ne needs a good, reliable tenant in what seems to be a, a nice duplex. Caverhill needs more help than he does, I suspect. Yeah, well, yeah, she's out of pocket a lot of money right now yeah, because exactly. even the process, not just the rent, but the process to evict someone takes time and money. Yeah, and a lawyer and uh, uh, wasting time. Brian, thank you. Thank you. Good story. Brian Lilly, host of Byline. He joined us from Ottawa.